How's it going, Huskies fans? Welcome to the first episode of the Coach's Corner here on the Huskies YouTube channel. I'm Jake Circus. That's Jordy Feeplatt. That is John Willis. Join with us today, returning for his fourth season as Huskies manager here in Duluth, Coach Marcus Pointer. Marcus, you don't sign two three-year contracts to keep coming back. Each year is a one-year contract. Something makes you keep coming back here. What is what is it about this city that makes you keep coming back? Uh, it's honestly it's just the people and the environment. Um, I love it, and like you said, I, I keep coming back. And uh, obviously, um, we have a little unfinished business. We're tr we're trying to win a championship here. Duluth never had one. We've gotten close, and um, you know the competitive nature of myself and staff and players is uh, that's just something that we want to get done. You obviously bring a wealth of experience to Duluth. Um, I'm just curious what you feel like you can bring with that experience into this season, you know, knowing all the roster turnover, all the transitions that you have to deal with. How does that help you going into this year? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely, um, it's invaluable experience. Um, there's not really anything that you can simulate it. Um, so obviously I have a new staff this year that's going to, that's going to learn. There's going to be, we're going to make mistakes, um, you know, on the field. So there's going to be some adjustments, but again, we'll kind of lean on my experience early and obviously I'll let these guys and we give them their freedom so they have room to learn and grow too as well. Coach, you mentioned the unfinished business. Obviously, last year you make it all the way to the championship game. You bring back some guys as well from that team last year. What's your message to the guys headed into this year trying to get to that goal? Yeah, well, definitely um, all the guys know that, that, I'm, that I'm competitive and we're trying to do everything we can to extend these guys' careers because um, obviously this is, this is kind of their first stop. We're trying to get everybody into pro ball. But realistically, the players set a lot of their the tempo or the expectations where they were the ones that were anxious to come back and, and compete for a championship. So it kind of it, it ran through them, and then I'm just here to kind of facilitate it. You have the 10, 11 returners, what, or whatever that number mm. uh, may be. Do you lean on them more so at the start of the year to kind of install any motivation because they're, they were here last year, they, they witnessed and experienced that heartbreak Mostly everybody else didn't and that they weren't here. So do you lean on the guys who are returning a, a little bit more to install any type of motivation? Definitely early on. Um, those guys know how I go about business and kind of how the system works here and the ins and outs of everything that goes on. So they have the experience. Like we said earlier, experience is huge here. Um, so we lean on them early and they kind of take the younger guys or the new guys under their wing and show them how it's done, what life's like on the road, on the buses and whatnot, and how to prepare on a daily basis for games. You've got a background in the Bay Area. Um and you've been able to recruit a lot of players from Northern California and also just California in general. Um, how, is, how have you been able to recruit better over the years in California as you've kind of developed a reputation in the Northwoods League and developed a reputation in Northern California at Skyline as well? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I definitely, um, you know, first things first, I just try to treat people well and, and do the right thing so that um, you create a good environment where guys are – have enjoyed themselves, they feel like they got better, and they go back to spring ball more confident and, and ready to go. And then, honestly, it kind of handles itself. If you treat people the right way, they're, they're interested in coming back, and it makes it a lot easier to get returners to come back if they enjoyed themselves. Um, and then from there, you know, if you continue to do the right thing, people in the community kind of recognize it, and then, um, you know, your reputation will kind of work for itself. Last year, you were third in the league in stolen bases, and obviously I know that's something you kind of look for. How do you feel about the group of guys you bring in uh, this year to try to keep that going and keep the base paths working? Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's a point of emphasis in our, in our recruitment and, and style of player that we have. Um, again, we're going we're gonna to play fast. Uh, we kind of call it fast break baseball. Like We're, we're going to play aggressive. We're going to look for every extra base that we can, ball and dirt, everything. Uh, pretty much all of our guys can run. So uh, anytime we're on base, it's exciting. When you were going through the whole recruitment process in the winter, early spring, was there anybody when they gave you a yes or signed the contract that you were a little bit extra excited about? Yeah, I give a, I give a shout out to uh, Lucas Kelly for that one. But another guy, too, is uh, Eli Sundquist. Um, he was with us in 2021. Unfortunately, uh, he, got, he got hurt in that season, but he's fully healthy now. And, and he was one of the guys right when he was healthy, he called and he's like, I, I want to play. Um, and we we're more than happy to have him here. And he's going to be a huge asset to us. And uh, obviously with Lucas Kelly, um, he's from my hometown, so I've seen him play as he's grown up. And finally, he's old enough now to play in the league, and he got the opportunity, and now he's here with us, and he's, uh, he's definitely excited. Who's someone do you think that's kind of flying under the radar um, on this squad that you're really, really excited to see play? Uh, honestly, it's Carson Applegate. Um, he's a guy I didn't, I didn't really have too much experience with him or see him play when he was uh, as a youth. Um, but he came with kind of high regards. He redshirted this year at, at Kentucky, but um, obviously we, we worked out earlier, and he's uh, he looks the part. And so I'm I'm curious to see what he can do on the field. Yeah. 
How about the pitching staff you bring in? A lot of guys that throw a lot of strikeouts, not a whole lot of walks. Seems like they really pound the zone. Uh, is that also something you look for, and how do you feel about the pitching staff you bring in? Yeah, definitely. That's a, that's a point of emphasis in this league, um, or at least for us, is, is strike throwers. Um, obviously, if they can get punch outs, it's a, it's a bonus. But we do look for guys that can compete in the zone and command the ball. Um, because, you know, walks and free passes are, are not a good recipe for success. So we try to limit those guys. Obviously, it happens. Guys will, guys will make mistakes on the mound, but um, we're here to teach them, develop them. So it is, a, it is an emphasis, though, to get guys that naturally do have the ability to throw strikes, and then now we can kind of teach them and groom them and fine-tune it to be a little bit more, you know, strikeout-ish, if you, if you say. So this is going to be posted the day of the season opener. So why don't you tell everyone who is the opening day starter? We got DJ Burke uh, opening day. He's a... Uh, He's actually in the transfer portal, so he's not represented by a school right now. But he's uh, he's anxious to get out here and, and show his worth. I think we're all we're all pretty excited to hear that. Yeah. He was we were like, eh, who's it going to be? It could be this guy, it could be this guy. And then yeah, there's there's DJ Burke, and he's going to bring the heat. Great stuff from Coach Marcus Porner. We're going to have coaches corners throughout the entire season here on the Huskies YouTube channel. Jake Circus, Jody Feeplat, John Willis saying so long from Duluth. We'll talk to you on the home opener next Friday night.